Hey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the Odd Jobs. Um, a new, if you like, series, new playlist, new whatever um, for us. Well, for you guys anyway, but for us, this is a new build as such. Um, I'm going to hand you over to Sam, who knows all about these cars. I don't know anything about it, so. So, we talked briefly about it, didn't we? But we're going to just do like a little introduction type video showing this new project that we got, which is a 1979 Series 1 Opel Monza. Um, it's not moved the wheel for 34 years so in places it looks a little bit tatty but it's a solid project isn't it? It's, it's, it's almost in better nick than the Manta isn't it in terms of, yeah. of, of what it is I mean it's we'll show you around the car anyway we'll show you show you the engine bay a bit better off and we'll sort of talk about what we're going to do really I mean it's mm. it's it's like the Manta it's a case of getting it running getting it stopping yeah, and then we'll go from there. I mean, there are there are. We've just been sort of going over the car ourselves, and you know, you're finding out that there's thirty odd year old problems in there with like car yeah. breaking down in the back and yeah. tires and all this. It's going to happen, but this is this is what we want to do, and I, I think ideally you want to get this back on the road, don't you? Like the Manta and yeah, and, and drive it because it's it's a beautiful car, as you'll see. Yeah, we'll take you around it, show you the different things. Especially the interior. The interior is lovely. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, enjoy. Um, let's go. Hi Sam. Hi. <laughs> oh, hey. So, Pretty under the uh, bonnet. Oh. Right. So, you know, it's easy to see it. It's not been touched with donkey's ears, has it? No, I mean. But not. we're hoping it's going to clean up really well. Oh, it's a it's a three litre straight six engine, uh, fuel injected. So quite an early fuel injection system. It is what it is. It's quite simple, isn't it? Hmm. Um, I'm hoping it's just not going to be too bad to get going. No, it spins, doesn't it? We know it turns over. Yeah. But it hasn't had an oil change. It, you know, there's, there's so many things really. I mean, we could do a lot of things, couldn't we? Compression tests. Yeah. Check all that out. We really want to make sure everything's hunky dory before we do any work. Yeah. Before we start, we, we might try and start it just to see if it'll fire. But before we do, obviously things like oil changes, um, the basics before we do anything. Make sure we don't write the engine off. Mm. Before we've even started. We can see how this. Um, <laughs> what are you doing, Sam? We can see how this plate comes up. It's a data plate. I've got a bit of this metal cleaner. So Sam's had a quick polish up. Had a Mopel Monza A. 1900 kilograms. Heavy car. Yeah, Weighs two, about as much as me. Two ton car. <laughs> So just looking at the age and things of this car, the chrome and that, Sam's had a quick go and look, some really good looking bloke with a camera. I'm using this Autosol metal polish, it's, uh, it's really decent. Yeah. Most of this is just in-ground dirt, tree sap and stuff like that because there was a bit of a creeper in there. <laughs> uh, not even me, like a tree creeper. Yeah. So Sam's still having a go at that, so yeah, you've had a look around the car, I mean, 
We'll talk about the interior shortly, but I mean, it's stunning. You know, it's, it's so solid, unbelievably solid. Can't wait to get started on this. Right, Sam, interior. Yeah, it's a, it's a thing to behold, isn't it? Yeah, blue, shows around. Blue velour interior, Ooh. nice, genuine wood panels. I take it that's four mica or something along those lines. Um, Oak. Blue dashboard, check it out, look. That is amazing. Um, one thing we have noticed, that it's, uh, well, it's, it, as Sam's sort of alluded to, and I have, it's an old car, it was, well, it was a barn find, wasn't it? Yeah, complete. Well, Still in a barn for 34 years. Well, big garage. Well, <laughs> barn. barn. Here's a barn. We'll take, we'll take that. Well, I mean, yeah, look, I mean, there's, it's just, just, it's dirty, it needs a clean. However, anyway. if we take some of these, just like general cleaning wipes, and I had a bit of a go yesterday, it does come straight off. Just Ooh. brings out the colour underneath, lovely. Look at that, you cannot believe how old this car is. In fact, it was made the same year I was born. Any mathematicians outside, you know, you can work that out for yourself. Look at that. Unreal. Check it out. So I think very quickly, it's going to come up just lovely. Yeah, what we'll probably end up doing is, like once we get the mechanical sorted, we'll do an interior clean. And we'll show you how we've done it and what products we use and how we how we go about it and it's stunning really really nice so yeah that's the interior all right so moving on to the boot then really what sort of that's really left we've certainly the interior of the engine but i mean things that we're going to do they're obvious to get the engine running but there's a lot of little cosmetic things as well isn't there to do on this car yeah i mean this is all the uh, the spare wheel covering uh, it, we can't put it in the moment because the spare wheel is completely flat and it doesn't fit properly um yeah, but it's all in, it's all in good nick, isn't it? Mm. I think once this car's had a clean up, it's gonna it's gonna look like a different car. I mean, again, the chrome around the outside that'll clean up. I think that'll come up nice, actually. Yeah, you it's know. got a tow bar as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can tow which there. is handy, and it is an original Heller tow bar. So I, I think this is probably a dealer fit. <coughs> yeah. Um, option tow bar. Happy in days. my opinion. So yeah, little thing, we don't need to do things like this. You know, we've done these before, the, the springs, the gas struts. But amazingly, they, <laughs> they hold, they're working, which so, is a bonus. So the history behind this car then, Sam, what, it was made in 79, wasn't it? 79, yeah. Um, so this year it's, it's 40 years old actually, which is quite nice. I think in about November. Um, really nice old chap had it in his garage. Park, well, he parked it up in 1986. Um, Is that I think, where it stayed? I think because he got a company car, and mm. uh, so the story goes. Left it in his garage, come back to sell it, and then uh, this year needed to clear some space, and uh, we got in there first, really. It's, it was in a, quite a tight alleyway, so we had to sort of get the back end out and then use a winch to drag the back end over. Mm. It's a good thing it had a tow bar, actually. Um, Happy days. So yeah, things to do. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna take a while, but we'll take you along for the ride, and we'll show you what we're doing. Um, and you know, we'll get this running. That's what it's all about: getting these these cars running and using them. Oh, that's blown right out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so yeah, happy days. Oh, swap places. Turn uh, out. Whoa, magic. Right. So yeah, th this is the intro to the Monza. Um, we'll go through it all. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I can't wait to get started on it. Yeah. Um, and we'll we want to get it running really like, as soon as possible, don't we? Yeah, I think I think it's possible. I mean, those that watch the Manta video, and you know, if you watch the Manta videos from here, you can see we did it out in uh, this garage basically, and rebuilt the engine on the floor, you know, and the car now basically just needs a couple of things, doesn't it? And it'll be it'll be ready to rock. Carburetor setting up, and uh, hopefully we can do a review video of it because it's it's got brakes now, it runs, yeah. so I'll get it for an MOT and yeah, we'll do a review. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you uh, like what you see follow us on instagram it's the odd jobs one two three and follow us on facebook we're again the odd jobs uh we'll, we'll keep the videos coming any comments any guys that have worked on these monsters you know please help us out because this is this is new uh, and we're, we're just enjoying it we're not making money out of it or anything like that it's just fun for us so yeah uh that's it happy mm. all right catch you later bye sam yeah <laughs>